angel's trumpet or the devil's trumpet. This plant or flower above my head is one of the most poisonous in the world. A man in Florida consumed one of these. And two days later, when the medics got to his apartment, they found him with his tongue resting beside him on the bed. Beside that, his penis. Since the dawn of time, people have attempted to create altered states of consciousness. And if you think you're clean or more evolved than that, think back to the playground where you'd spin so hard you would collapse. You would get the air squeezed out of your stomach by friends and cause hyperventilation. These are all entry-level altered states of consciousness. In ancient Hindu traditions, Shiva had a datura plant growing from his chest and the ecstatic creator god fell in love with the datura seeds, especially when mixed with cannabis. All the way through the Greek and Roman civilizations, for example there, the oracle at Delphi used henbane to induce visions and premonitions of the future. Throughout medieval Europe, the witches used henbane and belladonna to create states of ecstasy and profound divine insight. But here in South America, from Peru to Mexico, the shamans used this, the Brugmansia. Right there, the Brugmansia. It was first discovered here in um, South America by Alexander von Humboldt and it was categorized as a datura and it was later recategorized as a Brugmansia. It's full of scopolamine and atropines. <sighs> Brugmansia swavelins. The plant is deadly. In Christina Platt's Dictionary of Shamanism, she says that this causes severe disconnection from reality, full central nervous system seizure, and death. Pointing down, pendulous, they're known as angels' trumpets speaking towards hell. But when they're on the ground pointing up, like the detura plant, they're known as devil's trumpets because they're speaking upwards to heaven. If the leaf or the calyx casing or any part of this flower is eaten, it results in extreme visual hallucinations, confusion sets, and if the alkaloid level is too high and there's no controlling it, it raises and lowers by the month. Every night towards the full moon it gets stronger. It will take you to the very bounds of reality. And in most cases with children using it in recreational instances in North America, they either come out of it baked or dead. In 1825, this plant, the Brugmansia, was imported to Hawaii, and it's now part of their shamanic tradition. And it was smoked, and it was said to have the power to create celestial insight and a direct communication with the dead. Now here in Colombia, it was mixed with maize and tobacco and given to the families of the dead Zipas and Zakis, the kings. Why was it given to them? For when the ruler had died, the entire family was buried alive. And this took away the pain, took away the fear of impending death. That is how powerful it is. And this is where we get the idea of zombie slaves from. The application on the funeral rituals of the Moiska people who evolved from the Chibcha language group in Colombia. Medicinally, the leaf can be applied directly as a poultice to an infected wound. It can be placed behind the ear to relieve headaches. And here, the calyx tube is where all the activity happens. So what we're gonna do is cut this devil apart and look at the ovaries of the beast. Can you see it? If we peel back the calyx tube, here we are, the five male stamens. The plant emits such a powerful scent at night, hence the reason it's called a moonflower, that it attracts moths. The pollination travels down the stem tube into the ovary of the plant, where the scopolamine and all the atropines are produced. 
and together they create the altered state of consciousness. However, in modern Colombia, scopolamine has been refined by criminal gangs. It's known as devil's breath. Someone approaches you on the street, possibly with a map or a card, and they ask you for directions or to read the number. They blow the devil's breath into the face. That person is rendered completely susceptible to suggestion. They become a zombie. For example, a woman's taken into a car and it's suggested to her that we might go to her ATM and clean out her credit cards. Of course, that's a wonderful idea to the victim. We might go to a hooky lawyer and have you sign over the deeds of your business or your house, all under the power of scopolamine. You will quite happily do it. It will make sense to you. You've lost your faculties of reason and rational judgment. But the plant is absolutely magnificent. Look at it in its glory. And interestingly, the shape of the tree or the shrub is the same shape as the flower, but they are a poison fruit. The devil's breath, the angel's trumpet.